Good morning, everyone. This is Ivan, and welcome back to the Ivan Rides YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be doing a ride blog episode, so we're going to have a chance to catch up on the last three weeks. It's been a while since we've done a ride vlog, and we're going to enjoy the commute going from Queens to Manhattan, and weather permitting, and battery permitting, and storage space permitting, we'll be coming back to Queens from Manhattan. So sit back, relax, enjoy the ride, and it's good to have you on board today. So it's been uh, three weeks, everyone. How have you been? Well, three weeks since we've done a ride vlog, so hope you've been well. We went on vacation for a bit there, and that was kind of like our first vacation in almost two years where we left the country. You know, we, we've traveled around the United States over the last two and a half years, but we haven't really left the country because, you know, I haven't had the time, uh, work's been crazy, and we just, we just haven't had the opportunity to. So we went to Sicily and man, oh man, that was a welcome, welcome, welcome change of pace. I haven't been able to record anything this last week since uh, since I've been back because it's been raining almost every day. And I've also been working on putting together a video uh, for the Sicily trip. Uh, it's, it's not going to be put up online, but I'm going to be making it for my father-in-law and for my family for viewing so that we can kind of document all the places that we visited and I want them to kind of enjoy what we enjoyed because uh, like I said earlier Sic Sicily was man it was amazing it was eye-opening and what a what a what a trip one of the major things that I really took from that trip is that <laughs> The hustle and bustle of New York can get to you sometimes and you realize that sometimes you just gotta slow down, enjoy what you have and enjoy what's around you. It's not always about chasing the next dollar, getting that next overtime, get closing that next big sale. At the end of the day, here in New York, it is. But in Sicily, the, the pace of life was just, it was such a welcome change of pace because, you know, the locals, they, they took their time with everything. Uh, as a New Yorker, it was really hard because we're like, how long is this check gonna take? Uh, I even bought something at one of the, uh, one of the major retailers there as a memento of the trip. And it took about 30 minutes. We chatted. We, we enjoyed the process and at the end of the day the, the like I said the pace is is quite quite different to give you an example uh, we went out to dinner one night and you know usual New Yorkers were used to dinner taking about maybe 30 45 minutes 45 minutes if you're really, you know, chit-chatting, taking your time, and look at this guy. <laughs> See? But, like I said, we were in dinner in Palermo, and we were having a good time. Uh, the s servers took our order, it was very quick. Uh, food came out at a fairly reasonable pace, and the biggest shocker was how long it takes for you to get the check. Like we, like I said, as, as New Yorkers, we're used to kind of like plowing through the food, smashing through everything, and then bang, 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 you're, you're done, you're out. Turn the table, get the next person in. 
No, in Sicily, we had an appetizer, had an entree, a couple of glasses of wine, um, dessert, some dessert digestives, and an espresso. <laughs> and after all that, for another 30 or 40 minutes, we'd be waiting for our we'd be waiting for our bell. It was just it's not that things were slow. It's just the pace of life there. You can tell that people are taking their time. People are really enjoying themselves. And it really allows you to have a nice, long, chill conversation with your, uh, whoever you're with for uh, whatever dinner or lunch that you're on. And it allows you to really enjoy their company and have a proper conversation and properly catch up. Which was once again really, really nice to not be, not be rushed. So the, the, the trip consisted of a couple of visits. Um, we went to a couple of cities, you know, did, did the touristy stuff, but we also kind of did some stuff for ourselves. So the, the official route that we took was we arrived in Catania. Then we did Taormina. And then some sightseeing in Catania. jumped on the train to go to Palermo where we spent a few days and then from Palermo we did some street food tours some you know sightseeing tours and then we also went around the area where we went into uh, Erice which is one of the castle towns where we bought some really cool handmade artisanal souvenirs then after Erice we did this place called uh, Agri Agri Turismo or Agri Tourism, something like that. Saw the salt flats of Tapani. Um, went down to the south to Agrigento, the uh, Valley of the Temples, and did some good lunches there and we went around you know it's just we we got a chance to really enjoy enjoy Sicily you know there, there's more stuff there where just getting a chance to really enjoy the tourism the food oh my god guys the food oh. my wife and I are ready to move to Sicily uh, for the food And I think my favorite city outside of uh, outside of that was uh, Palermo. I think as a New Yorker, Palermo was the easiest transition. And it, it, I felt right at home there. Other really cool thing about Sicily is the two-wheel culture. Uh, this is... I mean, New York can really learn something from, from Italy there. The, the two-wheel culture with motorcycles, mopeds, e-bikes, e-everything is, is amazing. The, the culture accepts it because uh, the, the locals know that there's no, there's no easy way to get around. If you look here to my left, look at that traffic, you'd be sitting here in traffic the whole time, just like the way you would in Palermo. And just like the way you would in, in parts of the Philippines. But they've fully embraced it. Uh, everyone is riding and taking their family around, doing errands all on two wheels. And like I said, I know that's something that we can, as New York can learn. But of course, I doubt we will, because at the end of the day, 
you know, we're not ready for that kind of change here in, in the United States. Just kind of hope we are, but yeah. And so all those things that we did in Sicily, I had my 360 cam for, so that we can record it, so that we have it, and uh, we can remember the trip. So that's what I've actually been doing this this past week is just editing that and preparing it for for our families to watch. And now that I'm officially back in New York City and everything is kind of back to normal, uh, uh, we can resume the, the vlogging and the riding and things like that. Ooh, an onyx! It looks like we are going to be adding a new type of video into the rotation here because y'all really enjoyed the last uh, unedited, um, well, minimal editing commute video where you got to really see what it's like to commute uh, with the Relive app. So uh, expect to see more of that on the channel going forward. We might do a couple of ride vlogs, then a relive video, or we might do a couple of relive videos and some ride vlogs. Who knows? Um, I haven't really thought about uh, how we're gonna do that on the channel. It looks like we lost our third-person camera there again. I'm, <laughs> but yeah, it looks like we're going to be adding that to to the channel as part of the rotation. I don't know when. <laughs> the third person camera shut off but we'll uh we will make do with what we have here but what we'll do is we'll continue that conversation uh later on this evening because we are approaching the area where i work so thank you for accompanying me on the first leg of this trip and I will catch you through the magic of editing later this evening on the commute home. Later everyone.